I'm 25 this year and I'm a dog lover. This is Bruno. And Bruno is turning 3 in October and yeah, he is a Singapore special. So basically we fostered him and his siblings, um, two siblings. One was called Mars because you know Bruno Mars. And the other was uh, the female, his sister is called Brunette. Started, well, his first symptom was that he wasn't able to walk properly um, and then after a few days he got a really bad fever so we took him to the vet um, and they also didn't know what was wrong with him because they did all the blood tests and things like that everything came back clear relaxes now and then and his fever was super hard to control at the first one to two months we got very little sleep because he couldn't sleep as well I think uh, we all felt that he probably was very scared um, every time he woke up he needed to put rest his head on like our leg or on our hands just to know that we are there with him so it's been about four months and he has improved significantly. He still has, as you can see, he still has a bit of difficulty walking now. He cannot stabilize himself, he cannot sit down properly, um, but he's trying his level best. Mm -hmm. mm. Probably Bruno because I think he thinks that he is the police in the house when the cats fight, like when they start screaming at one another, they do scream, the cats scream. He's the first one to run to them and then break up the fight, try to break up the fight but he actually ends up making it worse uh, because he's barking and then the cats get more agitated and they fight even more. Yeah, so he's the police like, of the house <laughs> and he he's also my alarm clock, like he dictates when I wake up because he wants to get fed. Yeah, and he eats at a specific time, so anywhere from 6 to 8, like, he will start barking and he wants his food. We suspect he knows how to read, like, read the time. <laughs> he also knows when he's supposed to go down for his walks. If you had uh, 10 seconds, whereby you could speak to Bruno and he could answer you, you can ask anything or say anything that you want, what would it be? I think three things. I asked him, why are you so scared of men? That's one. Second thing is, when are you going to learn to pee by yourself again? That's two. And third thing is to tell him that I love him very much. But I think he already knows that. <laughs> Say bye Bruno. See, he will wipe his tail. Thanks Amber Art Gallery for this. So this is based on a picture when Bruno was still healthy and I think it's a great um, a great thing to look forward to. Like we're very excited for him to be this same healthy state again. You can see like his ears are so pink and then he looks very happy. I mean he looks happy now. Come! The painting is really realistic. Even from the chain that he normally wears to the paw details. I think there's so much detail, especially in the brush strokes that illustrate his fur. It's true to picture, I would say. 
Thanks so much for doing this for us.